forgot I shaved the boys. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh. Hey, mama, what it do? Huh? Girl? Yeah, I'm chilling. What you wearing? Oh, don't wear that. Oh. Girl, you a freak. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, I'll pick you up at 7.30. Okay, meet me in the bus stop at uh, 3rd and La Brea. Yeah, there's a Trader Joe's right there. <laughs> Girl, come on, this is a recession romance. Come on now. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, bye. Would you put some clothes on? Nobody wants to see your scrawny ass. Girl, don't be hating on my cuts. Oh, I need some needle sporing. I've been in the gym putting it in. What you need to put in is a meal before a breeze comes and blows you away. Girl, you know it's 80 degrees outside. You look like a fool with that outfit on. Well, I am going skiing in Big Bear this weekend, so I'm just trying this on. knock and miss an opportunity to make a grand entrance never and pose and pose and pose and pose and pose and pose and leave um i think someone here is homeless and it's not us am i am i right is it is it it's true i live here so i get to say who leaves and i say it's you you heard her Looking like a McRib sandwich without the buns. Look, don't be looking at my birdcage, okay? Let me just scoot by. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, 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 hey. I think I saw the canary. <laughs> Alexia, welcome to another episode of Cribs. <laughs> the Ferraris are down in the garage. We'll get to those. But first, let me get to those. Well, well, wait a minute. Where's Martin Lawrence? You said I could meet him. Uh, well, girl, don't trip. He'll be here when he get off set. Now, let me set my lips on them. Uh, is that the bathroom? You, uh, yeah, yeah, that's the one that Martin uses. Okay. There's some uh, Glad plug-ins in the cupboard. <laughs> This weekend, you live on the mountain. I, I couldn't go to Big Bear. The roads were icy, and I didn't have chains for my tires. Chains? Girl, you should have slept in the car. Gotta take one for the team. <laughs> Why is my picture huh? underneath this phone? Okay, good look. Um, I told my date this is my spot. Can you work with a brother? You did what? Come on, I've been cooped in here for weeks. A man has needs, and I need for you to get back up to that mountain with a quickness. No, Latrell, I am so tired of you taking advantage of me. No, I'm trying to take advantage of her. Uh, Latrell. Hi. I'm Tiana, and you are? I'm Alexia. Latrell, uh, what's going on? 
Uh, girl. <laughs> Sexy Lexi. <laughs> Look, this is my sister. You know, she's staying with me for a while till she get off welfare. Latrell, you didn't tell me you had such a beautiful sister. Are you a model? No, but thank you. You are so nice. Why are you out with Latrell? Did you lose a bet? <laughs> no. Um, I just moved here from Philly to be an actress. I met Latrell at the comedy shop, and he had me rolling. He even bought me a drink. <laughs> 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 FYI, he gets paid in free drink tickets. Well, okay, they still have cash value like your food stamps, welfare girl. <laughs> <laughs> and he told me he'd introduce me to Martin Lawrence. Did he now? <laughs> his sister and I've never met Martin Latrell why is that maybe you need to come over here more often it's getting late where's Martin uh yeah um uh oh you know what <laughs> speak of the devil that's Martin right there <laughs> Marty Ma what's up what's up what's up <laughs> yeah man yeah no that's what I'm talking yep no, Lexi right here. She chilling? Yeah, Lexi should get on the phone with Martin. Uh, what? You're in a canyon? Which one? Oh, the, okay, the Grand Canyon. Uh, you you want to say hi quick? Okay. To... Hey, Martin, how are you? Oh, oh. Wait. Ah, uh, we lost him. Dang, no balls. You want to text him? Girl, they gave him how many years? All he had was five pounds and a couple of Uzis. Shoot, T.I. got his from Walmart. Mm -hmm. I guess that's what he get for riding dirty. <laughs> Ow! Can you be a little bit more gentle with my pinky toe? Girl, you have a more corns than a cob salad. Uh, hello? Hey, daddy's girl. I'm unique. What are you doing? This is a place of business. And I'm handling mine. And looking at those who's and those open toes, you need to take a number. Whatever. Crazy. Look, I ain't gonna be too many more crazies. Uh, ow! This corn is a very stubborn. That's not a corn. That's my sixth toe. I don't get the problem. I'm just trying to get a quote for an extended warranty on a 1978 Lincoln Continental. Why is it so complicated? He hello? Hello? Daddy, why don't you just buy a new car? I did. I bought the Lincoln new, back in 78. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Finally sold that house over in Compton. Congratulations! Mm -hmm. So why don't you go out with your dad tonight and have some dinner? Oh, I can't. It's complicated. Latrell has a date tonight. Latrell's got a date. He's performing tonight, doing stand-up, and I'm going to keep her company. Oh, so Latrell's got a new woman in his life. Yeah, and she's not even inflatable. <laughs> Lexi, it's Latrell. I thought we had plans. <laughs> I was just calling to make sure you didn't drive off a cliff or anything like that. Uh, can you hit a brother back? Unless you're dead, you ain't got to hit me back if you're dead. Um, okay, so, you know what, just scratch this message if you already got the other 20 messages I left you in the text messages and, uh, and the Facebook wall post. I put you on the phone. <laughs> Where, where, where y'all been? Out. What are you up to? You know, just reading, educating my mind. That is impressive. Especially because you can read upside down. <laughs> you, you know what? Geniuses, okay? We see the world differently, all right? <laughs> and you, you supposed to come see me do stand-up, you know? Support a brother, Martin, everybody was there. That is funny, because we were hanging out with Martin all night. Yeah, and when we mentioned your name, he said, who the hell's Latrell Jones? 
There's where the problem lies, okay? Marty Martin knows me by my street name, Silky Slim. <laughs> Anyways, I wasn't even talking about Martin Lawrence, okay? I was talking about Martin Luther King III. <laughs> you know, the son, the heavy set one. <laughs> Well, Martin Lawrence got me an audition for his new movie, Baby Mama's House. <laughs> Latrell, I like this girl. Me? She's the one. Latrell, your sister is funny as hell. Now I see where you get your comedic genius from. <laughs> Her? Tell him what you said, T. Well, I asked the waiter if he was from Reseda because his hairline was back here. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty tipsy. Ooh, can you pull out the Ferrari and drop me off at home? Oh, um, you, I didn't even tell y'all. I got Jack for the Ferrari. Oh. Doing too much. <laughs> I was just flossing down Slauson. And... You know what? You don't have to go anywhere. You can crash here tonight. Good looking out, team. We on the same page. Cool. I don't have anything to wear tomorrow. I don't want to have to do the walk of shame. Oh, <laughs> shame? Sh no, 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 no. There ain't no shame in the walk of shame. Well, <laughs> that wine's got me a little tipsy. I will see y'all in the morning. Okay. Oh, my oh, girl. Oh, my girl. <laughs> see you later. Good night. Head naps. <laughs> Get rid of her! Goodness! <sighs> so, um, why don't we go take a swim in my water bed? What's the rush, the trail? <laughs> Besides, you wouldn't want me when I'm all sloppy drunk. Yes, I would. <laughs> no. Good things come to those who wait. <laughs>